basically when I did is after I have written a play, I just did it to wherever is the film, uh, uh, including the director. And that is why my play Dragon Bone uh, has become a uh, now. <laughs> when I gave it to, to Jen, uh, he just uh, deconstruct everything and it's, it's like a totally new play to me. Um, so it's the same for trans, uh, translation. Um, there, there is some, some kind of a strangeness, a strangeness when I read uh, the, the, the translation uh, by Jeremy. Uh, it's, it's like reading something uh, you know, totally unfamiliar to me. Um, reading an English text, and I would suppose that uh, that should be the way uh, to, to be done. Uh, it shouldn't have uh, any traces of um, uh, Chinese, the original uh, Chinese uh, rhythm or uh, tone uh, in the English uh, version. It should be naturally in English. Um, I suppose as a translator, you, you try to preserve the flavor of the original and especially that sense of, of otherness. Um, it, it should feel like it comes out of a different cultural context. I try not to denature a place so much that it feels like it's written originally in English because I think that would be to defeat the purpose. But at the same time, unlike um, other literary forms, theatre is uniquely collaborative. So when I translate a novel, you know, it just goes into the page and people read it, and if it doesn't work, it's on me. But if I translate one of Simon's lines and it doesn't work, then some poor actor is going to have to be standing on stage saying a line that doesn't work. And that's much more of a responsibility, I think, to make sure that what I've written works in production and sounds like something a human being might say. So you, you really try to move towards that while at the same time I guess, and partly because I've seen um, Siren's plays in production, I want to, when I read my translation, to have the same sensation as when I saw the plays in the original language, even if they're now in English. So as long as I capture that feeling, I feel like I'm a job. Siren and Parish, as, as playwrights, um, is there any one play of like yours that you'd be particularly interested to see translated in a different language? And which play would that be in life?
like what uh, I, or I should say, um, perhaps um, a multilingual play is more difficult to, to, to be translated into one uh, single language. Uh, but curiously, what uh, we, we have done some, uh, I have done some multilingual plays, uh, uh, and I believe uh, there, there are other uh, playwrights like Akwen, and, and some, some other people have written uh, multilingual, uh, has, uh, have done multilingual productions. But usually, the multilingual productions will be written in one language only. If Bakun wrote um, uh, 0001 or Sunset Lines in, in English, uh, although some dialogues uh, 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 were recorded in, in the original uh, English, uh, sorry, Mandarin or Malay. Uh, but basically, that is an English play. Uh, I have written, uh, co written one play, uh, The Assassin, The Medium and the Zoo. It's, it's, a, it's a multilingual play with uh, various scenes performed in, uh, China, China, in Mandarin, in English, uh, in Hakka, in Cantonese. The entire scene, one entire scene in one language. Uh, but the whole play, when it is uh, written and published, uh, is all in, China, uh, in Chinese. Uh, so the, there is a strange relationship between uh, production and uh, published play. Um, well, a play uh, should be seen on stage, not on page. I think that is the more, uh, most important spirit uh, of a theatrical production. Any last questions from the floor?